Here we are, just arrived at the NSRA Southern Swap Meet. So let's get on and have a look around, try and find me some wheels. The Southern Swap Meet is traditionally the NSRA season opener here in the UK. For many years it was held at Essex Arena, but sadly due to that uh, venue's being closed down, it is now here at North Weald, just north of London outside the M25. This change of venue seems to have had a really, really good effect. There's a lot of traders here, a lot of people selling bits and pieces, and a lot of people here buying. And just look at the cars. Now, Wolseley, for those who don't know what it is. A really, really nice custom. wagons here as well today and I have a bit of a soft spot for wagons. My project purple is a wagon and incidentally that is why I'm here today to get a set of wheels or at least some rear wheels for project purple. Central lines or central line style wheels is what I'm after so we'll be on the hunt for them in a minute. So amongst all the American machinery here we have a Ford Capri or poor man's Mustang. Look at the pinstriping on this one, that is really, really cool. Let's get in a bit closer. Wicked. There's a tidy cougar. And this wagon is just absolutely awesome. Well, there seems to be people selling all sorts of everything here, vintage push bikes and clothing. And just look at the amount of people here, and this was early in the morning as well. You know, lots and lots of odds and ends, wire wheels, steering columns, a snow emergency road for somewhere out in the States. And even a Lambo up for a Period stuff for sale here, slot mags and uh, <coughs> panels and you know, bits of four pops and anglias there. Bubblegum machines. Well, there are some really really nice vehicles for sale and on show. Let's look at these two. Tools and all sorts of wares and wire floors. Whitewall tyres and a lovely tri Chevy. Not sure if that's actually for sale. Map two props. Either he's building a very wide independent axle or he's got two cars. Mind you, I need one of those as well. Right here we go, found the wheels, a pair of Vortex 8x15s, 3.5 inch backspacing, and very tidy, and for a princely sum of £150, happy with those. Right on the way back in let's have a look at some more of the cars that are on show here. Quite a small, small truck. That's really nice, ratty looking with pristine wheels on it. And here we have a very nice uh, Studebaker truck, and that does look really, really wicked. I have to tell you, I had a bit of trouble finding the Jeep when I took the wheels back just now. I parked it by a big white van in the hope of making it easy to find as their car park is absolutely rammed full. Unfortunately, there seems to be an awful lot of uh, black SUVs parked next to white vans and it took me about a quarter of an hour to find where I parked my car and even then I tried to put it into the wrong vehicle. I only realised that when the thing wouldn't unlock. Well, what an El Camino that was. Here we go again, tables full of odds and sods. 
I could have done with the gearbox. Oh yeah, nice uh, swap mag. Yeah, I could have done with the gearbox uh, coming up here. Unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, somebody ran into my Jag and drove off. And unfortunately, I'm down a fair few quid at the moment, so I had to limit myself to the wheels today. There's certainly a lot of odds and ends here. Uh, axles and poles of wheels and some big 4x4 tires. Mm. Uh, pair of ball nose firebird uh, front fenders. Let's have a look at some more of the cars. Lovely Ford uh, panel. Uh, 100E pickup truck. Nice small block Chevy in there. Go against the grain. And here we have the Sierra Cosworth drag car. Evidently not powered by a Sierra Cosworth engine anymore. And here's what it looks like underneath. One nice chunk of an axle in there. Ah, mini radio flyer. <laughs> Go karts and that's cool. Yeah, a complete roof through a vehicle there. It looks like a Peugeot 205 wheel as well. More slot mags and a really, really cool Fire Chief pedal car. If you did your axle, there's probably one here for you today. Quite a lot. Let's see. I don't know the gearbox I could have had. I don't know the one. A table full of diffs and carbs. Front end of a Anglia and a pop or Anglia. A couple of tatty seats. And Nick Arlett's H fan and Nick Arlett himself. Got a mini cab, either for a dwarf for a kid. Not sure what these are, they're evidently a kit, but these are actually really nice. Cool boxes, cool. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is, but that is a really cool car. And some top log bits and bobs. Thank you. 